Testing, one, two, three. <clears throat> uh, this is Michael Afton. Uh, to, um, I'm here interviewing Trap Barney. I, I figured that we should start with Trap Barney since he's more open with um, interacting with me. This is the first time I'm speaking since I'm usually quiet. Now, I'm not really sure how Trap Barney's going to react to me. I hope things go well. Here's Trap Barney and... Yeah. I am Michael. It's been a while, hasn't it? Oh man, I'm going to have so much fun answering your questions. So. What happened there? Um, I think his servos might be damaged. I, I'm gonna have to fix this. Give me a minute, since uh, this has been the first time I've witnessed his voice like that. That should fix it. Um, okay. Uh, this is, so it's 12 a.m. Um, we're gonna sit here talking. Um, so, Trap Barney, how, how, I mean, how's life, how's being a, being part of the band? You know, it's been good and whatnot. How about you come a little closer? <laughs> Good morning. Um, I'd rather not come any closer to you, Trap Barney. Um, <clears throat> so it says here that you play the guitar, so what kind of jam, well, I'm not gonna ask that. What kind of music do you normally perform with, um, Trap Freddy? You know, the classic jamboree or whatnot. <laughs> I'm surprised you're here. Oh, Trap Boy, I want to ask you this, but you have to be really honest with me. What happened to that kid that was really, really, really on your stage and you took him to the bathroom? Like, what was that about? You, you... You, you animatronics shouldn't do that. A parent should do that. There wasn't any parents around that boy. <laughs> I took him to the bathroom and I let him go. However, that little girl, she said I looked at like a bunny who didn't know how to dress. So I took her out. You took her out, like, you took her out, like, oh, I'm gonna have a talk with you, or did you do something to that kid? Seriously, I really don't want you hurting kids. Trap boy, I'm serious. I think I don't know that, Michael. That kid cost me, me, that kid cost my guitar a lot of money. She broke it. What was I supposed to do? Let her go. You could have just let her go instead of killing her. She's just a kid, Trap Boy. This is why you're in this containment. You, you, you and the others are just dangerous. Yet, you're fluffy and cute, but that doesn't give you the right to hurt them. They're just kids. They're just kids, but they didn't have to break my stuff. I had a choice, Michael. And I know that it's not right, but... I don't care. It's what I had to do. What if... So what if she's missing? I didn't... I, all I did was kill her. I left the body in the dumpster. Body's in the dumpster? Then how come I found her near Trap Foxy? Missing her eye and arm. What do you think? You don't think that someone came in and messed her up? Don't tell me that Reaper knows this. Reaper's the only one who knows how to handle you guys. I've had enough. I want to talk about something else. You know how I feel about kids. Okay.
Okay, moving on. So, Trap Bonnie, how is everyone doing nowadays? Like, I know that you've gone a lot bigger since the last time we spoke. I have never it's doing fine, Michael. But I do want to ask you a few questions. How's your father? Dad is not your concern. He's doing fine. He's in the hospital. Because one of yous decided to hurt him. Or didn't you? But William, it could have been the Freddy Fazbear's pizza animatronics. They always hurt him because they were murdered where you were born, including Trap Blush. Except he was born undead and then Springlock and blah blah blah. And now you're thinking about targeting me next, huh? Bonnie, calm down. It's not like. Wait, what's going on? Wait, Trap Boy, don't. Tell you to calm down. That's the first ever control shock you have ever had. Now calm down. Remember your breathing. I forgot how bad that hurts. Oh. I'm sorry, Michael. You're right. I should learn to control myself. So the next question is, how old are you? I know it's weird asking an electronic heart, but how old they are. But seriously, how old are you? thousand years old, Michael. By the way, I hope you don't mind. <laughs> but I decided to tell you that I've been kind of upset since someone snuck into my room and took everything. Aware of that. Don't worry, we got most of your stuff back. Some kid snuck in again. Um... Okay, final question, and then we'll move on to something else. Uh, have you been, I don't know, uh, working out lately? Foxy has given me some pointers of being a bodybuilder, but, yeah, a bit. Look at these muscles. <laughs> Sorry, I don't need to flex. I'm not that unusually shy, but I, we've known you for a while now, Michael. And you are... Or a night guard, slash best friend, even though we tend to get a little quirky. But, uh, yeah, let's move on to something else. Let's see where we should move on to. Do, do, do. Um, how are you and, uh, Trap Chica doing? I mean, I've heard that you've had fights for a while now. I mean, someday you two will want to, um, become friends and... Still not fight? Enough, but she ended up destroying something of mine. Don't worry, I didn't harm her. It's more of an insult. I called her chicken legs. <laughs> anyway, I'm just so fed up with her at the moment. It's not like that I knew about this. It's just me interviewing you is what I was gonna do at the moment, but yeah, um, um, let's see here, um, your programming's fine though, this is still just an interview in a routine checkup, okay, that's all of the interview I have, any questions, any questions, Trap Bonnie? Okay. when am I going to get out of here? Well, I'm gonna get out of here. You know this, you're never getting out of here. You're stuck in this containment until we know you all are safe to come out of this containment. Just please don't do anything rational. Seriously, I don't want to have to shock you again. I hate shocking you. You know how I feel. Just again, Michael. Let me out now! Hey, Trap you know Wait, Trap Bion, what are you doing? Stop! Bye. <laughs>
Thank you.